All right, so we're gonna get Jeff here. He's all suited up onto the true form runner. And we're just gonna take him through some uh, simple progressions of uh, forwards walking, backwards walking, side to side, and uh, moderate forward run. So on the pack, we're looking at 14 pounds for the bottle. The pack itself, 16, so a total of 30. Our turnout gear, so yellow jacket and pants that I'm wearing are around 20, 25 pounds. And then I'm loaded up with gear from anything to my face mask to hardware gear and um, a bunch of different tools. So we're looking at about a total of 60 pound extra weight on my back before I go in this. And it's not so evenly distributed. Jeff, uh, first we're just going to go ahead and get you acquainted with uh, how quickly this belt is, is moving underneath your feet uh, as you move uh, with your legs. So. We want to do kind of skateboard kicks first, right? So you're just going to put one foot up here for me, here on the side of the deck for me, Jeff. And with that other leg, you're just going to kick backwards. Right? Just so you can get a, a feel of, of what you're going to feel through those boots. Right? And let's start to straighten up your posture. I'll look straight out at the horizon for me. This would be something good to do pre-workout. All right, just to fire, start firing the, uh, the back side of the body, especially the glutes, the hamstrings, and the uh, calves, and the arches of the feet. All right, now we're going to modify that, Jeff, by telling you to uh, let go of the, the handrails, and we're just gonna center your, your arms at the chest level, just like that, whichever leg you wanna start with. This is gonna work your balance more. This is gonna give you an idea of uh, how off balance your gear is. We need him to under feel all, all this, all these asymmetries here in this warm up before we just get him on and have him start running so he knows which side's loaded heavier, which side's loaded lighter, etc. Those eyes on the horizon, Jeff, doing great. All right, so we've got him ready to uh, start with a forward progression of walking. He's done about two minutes of scooter kicks or skateboard kicks. So, uh, to make sure that you're balanced in the forward progression of walking, let's get those arms out in front of you. One foot on first, eyes out on the horizon. Pull your body position back slightly until we get control of the stride. There it is. All right, I feel like we've got Coordination in the midline is drop your arms. It's, it's uh, difficult to do with all the extra weight. It really makes you notice it. And it's a lot more work when you're off balance. So this is gonna be really good um, for these firefighters to, to practice with uh, instabilities on an ideal surface that's unchanging. So he doesn't have to worry about the surface underneath him changing, but what he does have to, to worry about is absorbing the shock and the instabilities that his, gears, that his gear is presenting him. I want you to just stay right there. What I do want you to do is bring your arms up a little higher into a more power position. Lower your center grab just a little bit. Have you need to sprint in the field yet with your gear on? No, we, we usually don't sprint, but we definitely move quickly and efficiently. Okay. Try to mimic for me the fastest pace that you get moved on with your gear. Okay. Feel. Jeff's doing a really good job keeping his head posture in neutral uh, and his eyes out on the horizon. Uh, if his head was any too far forward or any too far backward, uh, that would essentially, on top of the true form runner, put him in a uh, too far forward of a position and he'd get going too fast and he'd lose his balance, he'd need to reach out and grab onto the handrails. And if his head was too far back in position, he'd find himself migrating to the back of the treadmill. So that's how we know he's, he's in a good head position now, because he's being able to sustain his forward movement on the true form runner. It's a lot like the same feeling of working at an incident right now. This is about my level of breath and how we talk. So, it's nice. 
I mean, it's hard work. I've been working for five minutes and I feel it. I'm sweating. So, always having to think about what you're doing. It's not just a routine. Keeps you pretty focused. All right, Jeff, go ahead and pull your body position back. Just lower your effort level. Decrease your effort level. There you go. Perfect. Nicely done. Now carrying a sledgehammer. So he carries the load very close to his, his hand for maximum stability. He's keeping it nice and close to his hips, which is also helping him stabilize that extra load that we've added to a, to a walk here. So Jeff, let's see get that into more of a ready position. So, Firefighters carry a high-rise pack, and he can shortly explain that. So we're constantly going up stairs with a high-rise pack, pack of hose used for high-rise type fires. So we'll have a high-rise pack on the shoulder, really awkward to carry, totally different weight and uh, balance. So this will be good training. And this is hard feeling it all through my midsection because I got an extra 20 pounds on my right shoulder and I'm trying to walk straight, keep my balance nice and tight. Is this a load that you, can, that you would always carry on your right? We're not always gonna. We can sometimes, you know, get tired and we do that and we'll switch. Handrail wants to be on the inside. But this is very similar climbing or walking with our high rise back. Really similar feeling right now. Excellent. It's pretty realistic. We have anywhere from, you know, five minutes of hard work to 30. And so this will be a good push for like five minutes. Get up a staircase and be ready to go. It's definitely a pretty similar feeling. Pretty game-like to what we do.